Well, the state of Washington is getting closer to banning the sale of assault weapons. Both the state Senate and House have now passed versions of a bill targeting the guns. An assault weapons ban has been proposed but failed to pass the state legislature for the past several years. Evan Watson is in the newsroom with the details. Evan. Blair, Washington will likely become the 10th state to ban the sale of certain types of assault weapons, including guns that are most commonly used in the deadliest mass shootings. Washington state lawmakers are set to ban the sale, transfer, and manufacture of assault weapons in the state. The Senate passed House Bill 1240 on Saturday with a 27 to 21 vote. Notably, this bill doesn't affect people who already own guns, like AR-15s, AK-47s, and M-16s. So I think this took that out and it opened up the conversation so that we could focus on what we really wanted to do, which is to stop the flow of these types of weapons into the state of Washington. State Senator Yasmin Trudeau, a Democrat who supported the bill, says this is just one step. And no single bill is going to address gun violence at large. But we know that there is a direct correlation between mass shootings and the types of weapons that are being banned under this bill. Bills to ban automatic or semi-automatic guns have failed to pass in Washington for years. Republicans have blamed mental health for mass shootings and said the ban would restrict gun access for legal and responsible gun owners. The legislators that I work with do exemplify responsible gun ownership. I, I think that there are a lot of people that do. But again, we don't legislate for those with the best behavior. We legislate for the worst behavior. So that is because we want to protect our community at large. Trudeau says this bill is moving forward because it's not focused on current gun possession, but future sales and transfers. She also says Democrats have stronger majorities in both chambers, and the support for an assault weapons ban is mounting with the frequency of mass shootings. It's the urgency and it's the fact that we've got the, the political support and political will. The bill has exemptions for law enforcement agencies and military members. If passed, it's expected to be challenged in court. We make determinations all the time on balance with public safety. So it's not just about, well, I want this, so I should get it. It's like, what are we allowing people to do that also impact their neighbor? Because we don't live in the wild, wild west. We don't live independent from our community. We live in communities with everybody else. My neighbor is just as important as I am. Because the House already passed a version of this bill and the Senate did yesterday, it's primed to move forward that this ban will take place. The bill needs final approval from the House of Representatives and Governor Jay Inslee, who said he will support it. So there's a strong indication this law is going to become law. This bill will become law with immediate effect. The Washington legislative session ends on April 23rd. Blair. Evan, thank you.